Our next round is all about music. In May, ABBA began their concert residency in London. The avatars of the band are so realistic, they even shag each other backstage, marry, divorce, and then hook up with the other ones. <laughs> you have to know a lot about ABBA for that. Um, <laughs> the real members of ABBA made their first public appearance together in 14 years at the premiere. Or did they? It's hard to tell. <laughs> In Spain, Shakira has been accused of tax evasion. To get the truth, you know who they should cross-examine? Her hips. <laughs> I tell you, you know you've got tax problems when I'm making jokes about it. <laughs> OK, music questions. First up, all I want to know is why was this... ..the song of the summer? Is that all you're giving us? It's all you need. Come on. It's all you need, baby. You all know that song. You go. OK, why was that the song of the summer and number uh, one back in yeah. June? OK, former health secretary Therese Coffey was interrupted by an alarm on her phone during an interview. All I want to know is what unexpected but appropriate song was her alarm set to? Don't sing it, though, though. Guess. I know this one. OK, if you've forgotten this, you will <laughs> kick yourself. Um, I'll, do, I'll do your answer. No, go do my answer. No, 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 I'll say, all right, your answer and I'll write my answer. OK. Can we do that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> OK. I mean, the M -I and don't, and don't okay. take his <laughs> Okay, next up, it's over to pop superstar Ellie Goulding. Oh. Oh. Hi, Jimmy. As a singer, it's always important to give your audience a real treat when performing. But can you tell me what US superstar Lizzo did for the first time in 200 years while twerking on stage in Washington in September? What? I would Okay, guess. so what did Lizzo do for the first time in 200 years whilst twerking on stage in September. So I'm not, like, outing Lizzo as a vampire. She's not 200 years old. <laughs> but she did something that hadn't been done for 200 years. She did it while twerking. Oh, she did. All right. Yeah, she right. did. Well done. Yep, yep, yep. All right, question number four in the music round. Which unlikely musical genius entered the charts this year with the rap... OK, I'm going to spit a couple of bars here. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. <laughs> I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle for sure. I know this. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> and finally for the music round, at Eurovision, Norway's Subwoofer brought classic Europop and theatrics wearing wolf masks to conceal their identities. Their track was memorable for its quirky lyrics. Can you fill in the blanks? OK? So... Oh, no. And before <laughs> that, what eats my what? Give that what a what. And before that, what eats my what? Give that what a what. Yeah, yeah done. Okay. All right. OK, all right. So... Answers on music, all right. I wanted to know why Kate Bush's Running Up That Hill was the song of the summer. Did you all get this? Yes. Mm, yeah. yeah. Stranger Things ruined it. Yeah. Stranger Things. What? Thing. Well, they didn't they like ruined it. it. You didn't like they... it. Yeah, I don't want to hear... I don't want to see another fucking influencer make a smoothie to Running Up That Hill. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I get in so annoyed. Yeah. They spoiled something beautiful. They spoiled something beautiful. OK, I, I will accept. Uh, Richard, Stephen? Stranger Things, yeah. Stranger Stranger Everyone things. got this? Well, let's treat ourselves to a little oh, look. Why? Yeah, Why come on, Rose, sure. sing along. <laughs> <laughs> They're moody, aren't they, teenagers? <laughs> oh, I want loads of attention. I'm going to levitate. <laughs> Is that the actual scene? Yeah. Yeah. But then that... they used it again and again and yeah. again and again because it was a magic music to lure her back from Vecna's domicile in the... Oh, spoiler! <laughs> <laughs> You've already ruined Love Island for me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you all got that. So I wanted to know what musical alarm former health secretary Therese Coffey had on her phone when she was live on air. Did you all remember this? Yeah. We thought it was... Steve did. Da -na 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 -na. It's the, the, the Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> By the sugar babes. <laughs> <laughs> we think Dr. Dre. OK, Jonathan, what have you got? We were split. Uh, Rose's answer was staying alive by the yeah. Bee Gees. My answer was a wide-ass platypus. <laughs> <laughs> and you've gone for Richard Stevens? Still DRE? Still Dre? Yeah. Well, let's have a listen. Mm. It's your question about your, your uh, residences. Oh, is, oh, you're right over there. You've you got a phone ring. Are you OK? Yeah. I've just realised my alarm is going off on my phone. Oh, I my apologize. goodness. What is the alarm you're for? You're getting a bit of Dr Dre. You're... It's just an 8 o'clock alarm. Sorry. It is Let Dr Dre, is it? That's fantastic. Yeah. That, what... Well, Dr Sorry. Coffee with Dr Dre as a health secretary, <laughs> it just gets better and better, doesn't it? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's the correct response to that. 
Ellie Goulding wanted to know what Lizzo did whilst twerking on stage for the first time in 200 years. What have you got? Well, we've put played an old flute. Yeah. And I've yeah. put presidential or Smithsonian. It was some kind of important... It's well, important I think we is, went yeah. one bad because we said played a crystal flute because I believe the flute was made of crystal and had belonged to a former president, but we don't know the name. So if you've got the name, you've got them all. No, we put played a special White House flute. <laughs> <laughs> you all got this. So she played US President James Madison's 200-year-old oh. flute. Take a look. I love the idea that Rick Madison's flute! <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's a Washington crowd. <laughs> I asked you which unlikely rap genius entered the charts with My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle, It Folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle for sure. That was Louis Theroux yeah. in an interview mm. referencing a very old rap collaboration that he'd done. OK, Jonathan, Rose, did you get it? Rose got it straight away. Louis Theroux. Louis Lovely Louis. Theroux. Yep. Theroux. Should we treat ourselves to a look? Let's yeah, treat ourselves to a look. Have great. a look. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it falls. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. It makes me want to dribble dribble, you know, riding in my fear. You really have to see it. Six feet two in a compact, no slack. But luckily the seats go back. I got a knack to relax in my mind, sipping some red, red wine. Oh, it's a banger. Really? Yeah. 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 And finally, I asked you to fill in the blanks of Norway's Eurovision entry. What did you all think? Wolf and banana is all oh, I recall. Yeah. Is that vaguely something at some point? Did they say that? Yeah, yeah. two of them. Oh. Okay, and oh, before that sense. dog eats my on. mouth, <laughs> give that tit a lick. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! No way! Oh. About the same. We got before that wassy eats my dog's penis. Give that tit a lick. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever. We don't know what yeah. that answer went, but we wrote and before that. Uh, hu uh, husband that eats husband. my white, white celluloid. Give that to the leg. You all have the same idea. Yeah. Do you all want to know what the lyrics are? No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, let's find out. All the way from Norway, it's Subwoofer. It was tough ending Daft Punk, but I'm pleased you're back. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent Eurovision tune. I mean, so damn catchy. So in case you missed it, it was, and before that wolf eats my grandma, oh. give that wolf a banana. Oh. Of course it was. It's maybe the best ever Eurovision. Uh, one more time, please. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's a very tight move, sir. Huge. Um, let's see what that's done to the scores. So, still in last place, <laughs> Catherine and Maisie with 15. Well, that's uh, better than Richard, Stephen, you've got 18, just one ahead, Rose and Jonathan, OK?